Okay, so. Oh, possible setup. Possible setup for. Geek photography. <sighs> We've got 180mm f2.8 lens. Um, beautiful, right? Absolutely exquisite old Olympus Zoico lens. I've got my two OMD EM10 Mark IIs chrome and black very lovely they are too and <sighs> 17 millimeter f1.8 45 millimeter f1.8 which is a gorgeous little lens absolutely wonderful okay And the ace, really, probably the ace lens that I've got at the moment is the fourteen is the twelve to forty millimeter twelve to forty f two point eight down the full range twelve to forty f two point eight across the entire range. That's that's and the close focusing too. Now that is probably an indispensable lens so let's just imagine and then the other lens which is in a very old olympus bag is the absolutely incredible 75 millimeter f 1.8 which has got to be one of the most gorgeous lenses that olympus or anybody else ever made Those last two recent foolish, reckless purchases. And now I'm going to use them if I don't break them. There's no UV filter on that at the moment. There really should be. There's one on this one. Um, and there are on the others. Um, and I've got a 25mm um, Lumix lens, but I'm ignoring that because that's a bit of a pain in the bum doesn't give a very good image as far as I'm concerned. There's a strange baffling in here. It's like a kind of a velvety stuff. Okay, here's a photodiox lens mount. And this goes on the Zoico, the old Zoico lens. It's a manual focus lens. There's a little red dot somewhere on here. I think there's a little red dot. There's a little red dot just there. Okay, so that goes here. And that turns, so those two red dots line up, okay, these two red dots line up. So now that is ready to go on one of these cameras. Let's put it on the black one, shall we? Um, I've got some body caps and things just in case because taking a body cap is we tell to have the camera body, for, if I actually were to remove these other lenses and put the rear lens caps on so we take just bodies and lenses actually that's going to be the sensible thing to do because these lenses can go in a pocket then and the bodies can go in a camera bag with the, with these big lenses maybe okay so let's take it like that okay that's the setup that's the setup so Oh dear. Now, that's a magnifying glass to look for my, uh, that's my dad's wartime magnifying glass from heaven knows when. That's just a beautiful old six times magnifying glass um, that my dad had for either for shooting or for maybe during World War II actually, a long, long time ago. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on here. Always, always with a, a photodiox lens adapter or something like that. Put the adapter on the lens before you put it on the camera and take it off the camera before you take it off the lens. Otherwise, you'll because 
This is usually a lot looser onto the camera or somewhat looser than it is onto the lens. And if you try and take it off here, you're going to put tremendous stress on the camera. So that is a bit mean, really. That's a little bit mean. Let's. That's that's a hundred and eighty millimeter f two point eight lens, and this is a seventy five millimeter f one point eight lens. This is for the the long shots. These are for the long shots at Steve Hackett gig, and I don't know really whether to take the hundred and eighty. I mean, this weighs twice as much as this does. Now, there's a lot of difference between 75 and 180. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need the 180. I mean, it's a, it's a long, long lens. Um, nothing to be able to focus on in this room with this lens. But um, it's a long lens. Uh, it might be very, very useful if you're on the balcony. This will be very useful for portrait type shots from the front of the stage um, and this the 12 to 40 will be useful for everything else it's an f2.8 so it should be fast enough so these are the two really and the 45 in reserve for some semi long shots the 17 f1.8 it might be useful because it's faster and the 45 is an f1.8 and because this is a 2.8, so you've got about an extra stop and a third on these two lenses. But basically, this is 12 to 40, so it goes wider than this, which is 17. It goes almost as long as this. This is 45. This goes to 40. So I'm not really sure. I mean, these are probably the two lenses. This is for the wide angle shots and the, I mean, equivalent on a 35mm full frame camera, this... 12 to 40 is like 24 to 80 so that's almost sort of super wide angle to slightly short telephoto um and 75 that's like 150 which is a kind of slightly odd focal length really but it's a super portrait lens the 45 is a nice mm, slight telephoto portrait type lens and the 17 is just a standard almost standard slight wide angle 180 is the equivalent of 360 so that's almost like a wildlife lens or something uh, that is going to be something else for um for stage shots but it's manual focus which is going to be a nightmare and i don't know that i really want to even take this with me i'd love to take it with me because i want to use it and it might be the perfect lens i might miss it if i don't have it i mean i could take something like an 80 to 200 millimeter zoom instead which should have which would cover then the range between this 75 and 200 or 80 to 210 i've got a tamron 80 to 210 and the sigma 80 to 200 both about the same both f3.5 to 4 for the sigma f3.8 to 4 for the tamron but this is f2.8 so this is quite a lot faster. That's going to weigh a lot. That's going to be heavy. These two cameras with these two lenses are going to be the ones. And these two in pockets. And maybe this stashed away somewhere hidden. So I really don't know. I really don't know what else I'm going to use. But I hope to get some nice pictures of Mr Hackett and his band with this lens. And with this lens. At De Montford Hall. De Montford Hall is for Genesis Revisited, Foxtrot at 50. It was February, something like the 26th or 23rd or round about that date, 1973, when they performed the Foxtrot set there. Um, Foxtrot album was released in 1972. It's now coming up, it's October 19, 2022. So I saw them at Aylesbury on the 13th of September 2022 for Foxtrot at 50. I mean, it's about 50 years after the release of the album. They performed the whole album in the second half and a couple of encores from other albums. 
Um, but the entire Foxtrot album from 1972, including Watch the Skies and Supper's Ready and the other songs. Um, superb. So to get a permit to photograph from Joe at Hackett Songs, who is probably Joe Hackett, could be Mrs Hackett, um, is a great privilege. And I hope to be able to use these two cameras and get some good photos from the front of the stage and from the side of the stage and from the balcony. So that's the end of my little video for today. I shall probably post this on the day that I'm at the gig. Or maybe I'll just post it tonight, I don't know. But this is my concert photography setup and I've absolutely no idea whether it's going to be any good or not. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to find out the hard way. And that's my video for today. Let's see what the colour looks like with the artificial light. Because I've got one of these ring ring things. And uh, they're quite cool. From B&M stores. And it's dimmable as well. You can change the colour a little bit actually. It looks as well. Um, it's getting quite warm actually. I'm surprised. I thought an LED wouldn't get warm. Yeah. Oh, you can make it yellow. See. You can make it yellow. I didn't realise that. Make it bluer. Oh, you can change the colour temperature as well as changing the brightness. That's cool. Okay, it was only a tenner. Along with the thing to hold my phone. And the thing to hold the phone is too short. Uh, but it still holds the phone pretty well. And it's USB powered. Okay. Enough of that for today. But don't. I mean I really just love these Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras. They are just brilliant. They really are really good. I'm thinking of getting an EM5 Mark III. But these EM10 Mark IIs are really good. As long as you don't use. Can try to use autofocus with video. In which case they are crap. Don't even think about it. You need an EM1 Mark II at least, or an EM5 Mark II or three at least for that. Um, I don't even know if the EM10 Mark IV is that good for video. So I wouldn't bother with the EM10s for video, frankly. You need to go to the more expensive ones. But for stills, fantastic.